The hacker group Anonymous is declaring a nationwide day of rage. Black Lives Matter protesters also reportedly gathering tonight in 37 cities. This on the hills of last week's uh, Dallas police massacre. And of course, the GOP convention just days away. The big question now, how will law enforcement guarantee the safety of thousands of people traveling to the city of Cleveland? Joining me now, Rod Wheeler, Eric Guster, Bo Deedle, and, and Stephen Loomis. And Stephen, let me start with you because you're the president of, uh, uh, of the Cleveland Police Patrolman Association. And everyone obviously thinking that uh, just considering what we've seen, for instance, at Donald Trump rallies, the ambush on the Dallas police, police officers, everyone's kind of worried about what may happen in your city. Yeah, um, we're worried about it too as well. The potential for disaster is great, but the, the potential for greatness is great as well. So uh, we um, look forward to the, the challenge, and I think that we're in pretty good shape right now. Bo Dito, uh, I know that these kind of things infuriate you, particularly considering that the atmosphere in this country, we're like on a powder keg, and, and it feels like some folks are trying to, trying to spark it. Well, you know, I was down there with uh, Chief Brown about four weeks ago talking about Operation Blue Shield, which is bringing the cops into the communities and all that. I thought with the advent of these five cops being assassinated, black lives could take time off and realize why don't they start <coughs> worrying about the kids being killed in our inner cities and stop with this. Because if you asked half of them why are they there, they wouldn't know. Let's be real about it. Black Lives Matter. We talk about the killings over 350 in Chicago. Every hour there's a shooting. Let's start worrying about those lives and stop with the non all they want to do is divide and divide the police. The police are there to protect us. They're not there to hurt us. If there's bad cops, they take them out. You've got bad doctors. This thing has gone well beyond it's supposed to. Eric, I'm sure you agree. Absolutely. Now, I, am the, I do agree that the police officers are there to protect us. However, many of them are there who are harming us. And Black Lives well, Matter... Many, what, give, give us a sense of percentage because... I, I, I mean, personally, I know we're human, police officers are human beings, but right. I would think the amount that have, are, that have done things for nefarious purposes, so minute, I, I mean, so when you say it, many are there to harm, isn't that, isn't that, doesn't that paint an awful picture of the people that do keep us safe? Uh, it paints a picture of, of truth when you have black African Americans who are three times as likely to be stopped, five times as likely to be shot. Those are the types of things that BLM is protesting against. And you know, against. there's been a lot of very, been some evidence recently that st some of that data is incorrect. Uh, right. And they, the no, whole no, no, I, I did not interrupt you. Um, yeah. It's very important for us to put it in context where. Black Lives Matter is a peaceful group, and when people yeah. like Bo is, are trying to so when group you see, but this hold shooting on, into about Dallas, Dallas, when you see, this is, we, this have seen, we have seen video of Black Lives Matter protests saying, fry them yeah. like bacon. When did the last time that right. video happened? They when did that happen? That happened we want them now? A year and a half ago. <laughs> but what's see, the that's point? what upsets what, me, what's is the that point? we are talking about Black Lives Matter. I have, we have videos of cops saying, let's shoot the ends. In words, Come on, so Eric Charles. That's, that's, that's the one here. Yeah, 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 a bunch of cops walking down, down the street saying something. We're talking about individual cops. Eric, you're you 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 bring Rod Wheeler. Rod, what you're second. doing oh, is you're trying to group a group. Hold on. With, you're trying to make a national movement based on what we buried five cops that were assassinated because of the past. Give me one second, Bo. You don't want us to group all the police officers. Last week, we saw a protest. I think it was Minneapolis where they were throwing things at the police officers. And they shouldn't do that. Police officers showed tremendous restraint. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's one thing to people Bo's point. Do. A lot of people are going out protesting, and they don't belong to any group, they, but they are getting lumped in. But the, mm. the people who are for the anarchy, there's an a, a element within Black Lives Matter that wants anarchy. The, the George Soros of the world want anarchy. They're, and they, they're they are using the police, are using the anger the and pain. the police department who are racist as well, Charles. Well, if you're true. going to group a small, if you're going to take a small percentage of people who are doing wrong with BLM, Black Lives Matter, and make it about the large group, you're doing the same thing that you're Rod, accusing us of. Rod Wheeler, uh, you, former homicide detective in, in D.C., I'd just like you to weigh in on this, please. Well, you know, uh, first of all, let me say this, and I like Eric a lot. He's a good friend, but again, he must be drinking that crazy Kool-Aid <laughs> because let me tell you right now, I was in Dallas last week, Eric. I attended 
a couple of those officers' funerals. And let me tell you something about every, every one of those police officers. Neither one of them ever done anything wrong or, or mistreated an African American or anybody like that. And they, they gave their lives. And you know how they gave their lives? They gave their lives protecting Black Lives Matter. We don't want to talk about that, though. All we want to talk about is the one or two little incidents where there's been some rogue cops. Look, I'll be the first, and Bo will back me up on this. Yes, we know sir. we got a couple of we know we got a couple of rogue cops out there on the force, and we're doing everything we can to get rid of them. But let me tell you right now, Black Lives Matter and the new Black Panthers Party is not yeah. doing anything to solve these problems of the community. All right, guys, God bless you, Rod. God bless you, Rod.